What is up heroes, this is Manny Zero, and welcome back to the Let's Play Catherine. In the last episode, oh boy, a lot happened. A lot of the story uh, came unraveled, per se, and now Vincent finds himself with one last night ahead of him, with one final showdown against the boss of all people. And we are now in the Stray Sheep with a much more chill, lax music or song than we normally experience this place with. So let's get up and look around, see if any of our friends are here. Ah! There is one of our friends. Think we can chew the fat a little? Can chew the fat. What, what an idiom. And boss is not, notably. Erica is uh, taking care of all the patrons at the bar. <laughs> Something the matter? I remembered how you saved me in the nightmare. I talked a lot about myself. I think I just wanted somebody to listen to me. So, these events aren't going to end naturally. The police can't do anything. This is when the mass media shines. But I'm too afraid to write about it. I think it's because I'm afraid to admit that I have the power to save people through my words. Yeah, well, I'll look forward to whatever you write. Think I can get an interview with you one day? The unnamed hero? <laughs> Stop it. It's embarrassing. Aw, look at how positive Justin is, right? Acknowledging that he has the ability to change, to make positive changes in the world through his writing. I'm very happy to hear that. And would you look at that? Is that is that Daniel and Anna? It's all because of you. Thank you. It's the unadulterated truth. Aww. After this is all over, I'm gonna marry my girlfriend. I should buy the ring so I can do it the moment I'm ready. Well, that's certainly exciting. You got that. Who else just walked in? Oh my goodness! Everybody is showing up. We got a lot of people to talk to, guys. And we have a text message, oh, but it's from Midnight Venus, of course. We completed stage eight, lovely. We haven't actually looked at the awards section, have we? Well, no surprises there, right? <laughs> we get the trophy every single time, so that's exactly what to expect. Hey, I wanted to see you, tell you something. Hmm? I'm going to marry Anna. I'm throwing away my family and company and everything. What? Really? We're eloping, rather. We're leaving tonight, after this. I see. You guys seem happy. My life is so hard, as if taking care of him wasn't hard enough. It's okay. We have love. Ugh, men are so stupid. That nightmare is going to continue. But I think that's okay. Why? I wouldn't mind nightmares anyway. Don't worry. They'll all end tonight. It feels like it will really be that way when you say it. I hate to say this, but I really look up to you. Thank you. Aw, thank you, Daniel. And look at how far Daniel and Anna have come. They've really managed to repair things. I also love that, much like Vincent himself, it was through the struggle that all of these people have emerged with so much more resolve for where they want their lives to go. Which can really, I mean, demonstrate how obstacles, challenges, can in fact be stepping stones. And Cryos phone attachment issues, huh? To Mr. Vincent Brooks, some of our newer cell phone models have been having trouble accessing our online media storage service. We apologize for the inconvenience. We are handling this issue by sending our users the data they were storing online via text messages. These messages will not cost you anything to receive. Huh? This takes me back. Oh, wow. Look at that. A picture of Vincent and Catherine so happy. Presumably on her birthday. Oh, that's precious. And so these are old that were previously stored on the online service. I get it, I get it. That's really, oh, I love that. Anything more to say, Daniel and Anna? Anywhere you'd like to live? I don't care where. Somewhere where there aren't many other women. Anna. <laughs> Oops, Vincent heard me, but it's all thanks to you. Thank you so much for saving him. Yeah, Vincent's a really dependable guy. Ever since he was a kid. Thank you, Vincent. Getting all the gratitude tonight. Mr. Morgan? Hey, it's you, Sif. I've been waiting for you. I'm glad I'm able to see your face today. Is something bothering you? <laughs> this is my last drink, and my last time here. Why is that? I'm gonna stop drinking. I'm gonna find the criminal who shot my wife. But not to kill him. I'm gonna find him and make him atone. I see. Before, I only thought about taking out my hatred and anger on him by killing him. I was blaming him for all my sins, too. Thanks to you, I realized that I was being weak. This isn't much, but it's my advice to you. Hold on to what's important to you. 
The more important it is to you, the easier it is for it to disappear. Like a dream. Yeah, I understand. I owe you one. Actually, two. One for saving me from myself, and one for saving me from the nightmare. Thanks. Oh, thanks for the kind words, Mr. Morgan. I, I love that. And we're getting so much life advice, right, from all of the patrons of the Stray Sheep. And it's also really neat to have all of these people now recognize that, yes, we're all having the same nightmares, and yes, it is you in my dreams that's that's saving me. I'm done drinking for a while. The next time I drink will be when I visit Sophie's grave and tell her that I caught her murderer. I owe you one. Actually, two. Thank you. And there's no doubt that it's a pretty good health decision to stop that drinking, so happy to hear that. Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? Sure, why not? You look very handsome today. Oh, really? A man who climbs the mountain now will be given his future to do with as he pleases. I wonder where you'll end. I wonder what you'll gain. What else is there? Victory and a future. Victory and a future. Of course, us too. Huh? Goodbye, Mr. Man of Legend. May you be blessed. They're so Just creepy. To say goodbye. Good night. See you tomorrow. I still feel like, despite all the times I've played this game, I don't really have a good grip on what Lindsay and Martha are, or what they're supposed to represent, or, or any of that business. They're just so creepy. If we hadn't come back, you'd be in some deep shit. I was just screwing around. It didn't look like it to me. I was just getting worked up over a bet, that's all. If you say so, man. But if you do something to get us on the news, man, we're all gonna have to go on the land. That sounds good. It'll be like when we were kids, out on adventures. So we're adults now, huh? Hey, what are you talking about, guys? Maybe when you're older, kid. Hey, that's mean. <laughs> Everybody's got to leave Toby out. Treat him like a kid. Oh, we're we gonna have that damn dream again tonight. Are you all right? Man, you know I love you. Don't say stuff like that. Everybody's getting all feelsy tonight. Hey, Vincent. What was that just now? I saw you grabbing Boss. Something happened? No, everything's fine. Sorry you had to see that. Now, I'm not gonna stick my head into every bar brawl you get into, but if something's bothering you, let us know, okay? When we were younger, we'd always help each other as a team. Remember? Yeah. Felt like we could take on the world back then. Fun times. Uh, but Toby here wouldn't know about that, would he? Come on, why you gotta go there? We were like that once, huh? Anyway, we've already settled things. Power of friendship. And again, making fun of Toby. Maybe it's because I'm tired, but the sake is getting to me really quickly. Hey, don't overdo it. Let's have some good stuff tomorrow. What do you mean? Well, nothing. Huh? So Vincent can uh, celebrate that the nightmares have ended. And did I hear the door? Did somebody walk in? Yes. A couple people did walk in that we've been we haven't chatted with in a long time. You've got your game face on. A sign of a great man. Yeah. I have something I have to finish. I know you. You're probably doing something that isn't worth the reward. It's nice of you to help us out when you've got your hands full already. You guys? Yeah. I know. You saved me. I see. Guess what? I think I'm gonna get married and start a family. I've always secretly dreamed of loving somebody, of being loved. Me too. I'm gonna start over with my wife. Great. I think I can be a real man now and come out of my father's shadow. Hey, dude, I'm gonna keep living my life too. It's all thanks to you. Thank you. I'm grateful. Hey, let's change the subject. It's embarrassing. You never know who might be listening. Even walls have ears these days. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not sure if that's a fourth wall reference or, you know, breaking the fourth wall referring to the player. That would be pretty funny, though, if it actually were. I've got to apologize about your wife. Ah, I'm not listening. Everyone makes mistakes, and everyone has the right to start over. Boss. I'm turning my life around in so many ways. It's all thanks to you. I'm grateful, too. Thank you. Wow. Well, I definitely appreciate your gratitude. I'm glad to hear that 
they're still friends despite everything that went on, which is incredibly surprising and arguably unfathomable, but... But hey, it's working out, so... I'm, I'm glad it is. I and Orlando aren't looking too good. Everything will be okay after tonight. Which means... Never mind. Well, I'll be back to normal come tomorrow. I'll bet my life on it. Uh, what are you saying? Hey, don't look at me like I've lost it. I mean, can a guy try to sound cool sometimes? <laughs> Vincent acting like the hero now. You haven't had any nightmares, have you? You mean that one in the rumors that are supposed to kill you? <laughs> yeah, I'm not that gullible. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, though. <laughs> Toby's like, I'm not that gullible to <laughs> silly nightmares. All right, so it looks like we've chatted with all of our, our usual people. I've got to apologize. Uh, yeah, we already heard that. So I guess what we can do is chat with Erica. Did you hear? I figured out who the witch is. Really? And who is it? It was me. <laughs> you know all that shit that went on when we were young? Seems it got mixed in with the rumors. Well, you did disappear that one time. And to think I just kept spreading the rumor, fooling people. Was there anyone who believed it? You. Well, I never believed it in the first place. Listening to you never leads to anything good. What? Anyway, about what you and Boss were talking about? Dumbass. It's all a lie. Don't worry about it. Tomorrow we can drink and enjoy ourselves. Okay. I hope so. Erica's like... Finally going to fight him. Oh, wow. I'm not gonna lose. I'll win, and I'll live to see tomorrow. That determination. But yeah, Erica's like, so what's all this going on with you and Vincent, and or with you and the boss, and the knife, and everything? Vincent's just like, don't don't worry about it for now. We'll we'll deal with it later. Hey, how much of what you were talking about tonight is true? You said you'd be fighting. <laughs> you really never change, do you? True or not, I don't think I can lose to him. This is the end. For the mysteries, the rumors, for the guys, and for everyone. He needs to take responsibility. Look, just don't be stupid about it, okay? Everyone's worried about you. <laughs> I'll be fine, don't worry. Yeah, no kidding. Bravery is certainly admirable, but it needs to be for the right reasons, and it needs to not have uh, stupid consequences. Come back here tomorrow, okay? Have a drink. We'll do our best to survive. Today's lead story is the mysterious weakening deaths. James Thompson, age 33, was found dead today. Was he in the nightmare too? Were we climbing together? And George Baker, age 30. Once again, the names of the deceased. Yeah, must have been. I mean, presumably all of the deaths we're hearing about these mysterious weakening, weakening deaths are people that have, you know, met their demise trying to climb the block towers we face each night. Interesting, right? A pleasant surprise. We don't hear the mysterious voice. We don't get a flash of any monster. I mean, for better or worse, we know what's coming tonight, right? Could I have replied to this? No, I don't think so. I was hoping we'd maybe get some more text. That's what it sounded like, but I guess not. Well, all right then. It's interesting. I'm so used to everybody having left by the time we're leaving, but... Right now, everybody's here. We've exhausted all of the dialogue, I believe, so... I guess we might as well. I'll, I'll save, right? And then we can move on. Although now I'm at the point of overwriting our earliest save files. So with that, goodbye stray sheep. Goodbye wonderful patrons that we've worked so hard to survive with over the past few nights. We're gonna be fighting for you tonight. Are you going home, Vincent? Yeah, I'm going. I'm so worried, Eric. Be okay. Have some faith in me. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. I believe in you. I'll see you soon then. Thanks, Erica. The only one who has a somewhat remote understanding of what's going to be happening tonight. The ninth day. So interestingly enough, we don't have the mysterious voice taunting us, and we also don't have any other sheep walking through the door with us. It seems we are truly the only person who has been invited for this challenge tonight. 
on which, of course, everything is being bet. The Imperio, first, first sphere. First of the great trials is a road split into three paths. Beware the mystery blocks and tackle these stairs with all your wit and skill. I'll do my best, narrator. I promise. Hey, Mutton! If you're behind this, then you can hear me, right? Say something! <laughs> of course I can hear you. I can see you. And your underpants. <laughs> <laughs> I love that little bit of uh, humor thrown in there. Welcome to my realm. Whoa! It's right, I got it. The Demir human is from. I'll take this. Show me those skills that helped you survive this week. Okay, now that Mr. Mutton has exhausted his dialogue, I feel okay moving onwards and actually talking about what I'm experiencing. You'll notice there are these blocks here with the sort of red curtain. Those are going to be our mystery blocks, and they can, well, as you might expect, they can turn into a variety of different types of blocks, which is a good thing and a bad thing. So those weird blocks, which I don't believe we've seen before, are a very weird type of block that you can essentially... Oh, I've been saying it's essentially a lot. Uh, <laughs> is you can stand on them and they die. They're kind of like monsters that move around and will attack you at any point if you don't deal with them. Of course, given the mysterious nature of the blocks, you need to be prepared for them to be trap blocks, as noted. And in order to not be dealing... Is there gold over there? Did I miss any gold? I don't think so. Okay. Again, with all three of these paths, you need to be kind of cognizant of what's going on in all the different areas. Again, I'm going to take a little bit more of a risk-averse approach, which is fitting with my personality for those of you who know me. And try to avoid stepping on mystery blocks whenever I can. Now, what's a good way of going about this? I think it would be best if I do that. And so far, we're progressing pretty well. You can actually see we're very close to the end. However, how do I want to deal with this? I'm going to need to touch that mystery block. Luckily, turned out to be okay, I guess. We can actually probably bring all of these down a little bit. No, not quite. So long as I make it up to the top of this little segment here, I should be okay with getting that gold. I don't really need to overthink it much. So I just need to be wary of the traps and not, you know, get killed by them. And we should be okay. Let's see here. How do I want to do this? I think what I'll end up doing is... Try to pull them out like this. I'll need to be wary as well of all the different techniques that I haven't used in a while, right? Like the that 3x3 three three technique and then the 4x4 four four technique. I think I should be able to get across with the spider. No, I can't actually. So we're going to do that for now. Oh, and it's a cracked block. That's actually not preferable. How do I want to do this then? I don't know if the mystery block will change if I do this again, just out of curiosity. <laughs> lovely, lovely guys. <laughs> it changed. It definitely changed. Oh man. Come on, Vincent, grab the block, please. What? What the heck? Okay. Um, yeah, that was obviously not how I had expected everything to go. Alright, you guys can play around on the trampoline pad. That's totally fine with me. We're gonna keep on working our way up, and I should not have done that. So we're actually just gonna do that for now. And that should block them off, which is lovely. Watch out for the mystery block. There should be some coins on the other side that we need to be wary of. Yeah, it was over this way. 
It's interesting to see that you can actually note the the sheep themselves are doing some block pushing as well. Yeah, I believe this is how we went about this segment last time as well. So I can push this over, I believe. And just dropping here, I should be alright. Alright, I got it. It's so I was like, is it gonna be one of those blocks that tries to eat me, or is it gonna be a spike? Because that changes by at least well, by quite a bit whether or not I need to um, interesting. So that that changes things quite a bit, but I don't actually need to worry too much about getting on those other sides so long as I'm able to make it up by the end. So I, I think I'll actually bridge across to this middle segment here because it looks a little bit more stable and, and easier to work with. Yeah. Of course we've got the remove enemies item in item. It might have been better to have gotten that dark block. I can definitely see how it would have been helpful at that last bit of the puzzle that we had gotten stuck on before. But we're doing fine on time, so we'll have plenty of time to think about things. And what did I do here? I wanted to make sure I didn't die there. I'm glad that worked out as intended. And then I think I just worked my way up this way. Awesome. So we are rapidly approaching the point we were at before, which is good. And here we are. So here's the real question, right? What can I do? I've got an idea. Let's let's push both of these out. Oh, my thing is going to reset. Yeah. So then if I do this, we'll see what that becomes. Oh, actually very tame. Um, I actually, interestingly enough... I think if I push these out this way, those blocks will fall, which is kind of what I wanted. Again, it's always so weird when I'm trying to, uh, and now I can make a nice little staircase, is what I was going to say. When I'm trying to navigate around the backside of the level. We, do we have enough? What the heck? I hit X to grab the block. Somehow I ended up spidering onto the back of the level. What? <sighs> so again, the only real complaint, obviously, the real struggle I'm having is occasionally the, the controls do not want to work with me and, and the punishment is pretty severe in that now we've got to spend a decent amount of time getting back to where we were. But maybe some of you saw kind of the strategy I was going for there. <laughs> that line is so funny. Now, come to daddy. But yeah, we had a little bit of a strategy. I was going to make one large staircase there. I didn't quite have the time to check and see if... Oh, we didn't actually kill it there, so wanted to make sure I got that, that squish. Right, I got it. Um, that will be okay, I believe. Right, I got it. Um, yeah, I was going to make one large staircase. The only question was, did I have enough space to work with underneath on that like platform and to, to pull out all the different blocks necessary? I think I did, actually but I'm not 100% certain. So we can push this again over to the middle. At this point, I feel like I at least have this part of the, the level down pretty well. I feel pretty comfortable with it. So we're just kind of cruising along. That middle path has actually been generally a lot more stable, I think, than the others. Okay. So we can do this. Something I haven't really talked about much, but is really great about this game, is the remixes of such great classical music, right? Careful. Okay. But yeah, there's a lot of um, just like classic, well, classic music <laughs> that's been incorporated in this game. It's one of those things that way back in the day when a lot of people, I would tell them, you know, I listen to a lot of video game music, and that arguably is and isn't a genre in itself, given within, given the immense diversity encompassed within that uh, that genre per se. But um, 
People would always be surprised when I would show something like this and be like, this is also video game music. Let's see. I can probably work it this way. But it's gonna make it more difficult to get over to the other side, obviously. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll be okay. Oh, wait a minute. Go back. <laughs> we're gonna pick this up while we can. And then we're gonna work our way up here. Because what I think I can do... Oh, is there a way for me to... Hmm. I really want that gold, guys. But I don't see a good way for me to get up here because that block was a... a... a bad block. So, this is back to when it still wasn't decided what it was going to be. And now you'll notice that pretty much everything is going to be completely different. The whole experience will be quite different. So I can probably push that across. I can push that over. That should stay. Can I push this over? Hmm. I really want to get that gold. <laughs> But it doesn't look like it's working out with what I'm currently doing. Yeah, so I guess I didn't really want to have to do this. But what I can do is just push this over like this. And then drop here. And then drop again. And then spider all the way over here. So that we can climb back up. So I don't think that was the best way of going about it. But we also, we also have a lot going on here. I think that was the best way to go about that particular segment. Um, I can't really push that any other way. Wait, what? <laughs> I didn't even realize my combo meter was dropping. Okay, that's pretty helpful. I could... Actually, yeah, I'll just go up this way for now. Two of those? That's kind of scary. Oh, well, hmm. That's a little problematic, isn't it? <laughs> So I guess what I should have done, actually, is instead of pulling this out, it's not optimal, maybe, but if I can do the sort of 3x3 three three wide technique, I should be alright. And yeah, I can't push it out any further because I don't have the uh, leeway. But I can pull this block out and push it to the side as well, and we'll eventually make ourselves a nice stair. Well, the only question is, please don't be a crumble block. Nice. So we live to, to see, to fight another day. Not gonna deal with that mystery block, and make it to the top. All right, so we had some really unfortunate mishaps at the end, where the, the backwards spider crawl, whatever you wanna call it, controls, really were not, were not helpful, to say the least. So we had some falls when we were right close to the end. you come this far? Come on up. Um, but, but we made it through, and we finally got confirmation the Mysterious Voice is still here, is still watching, still listening. So we've made it to this landing. Not bad, but this is just the beginning. It'd be boring for you to die here, wouldn't it? Well, give me your best shot. Ah, uh, the taunt from good old Thomas Mutton. But yeah, you'll notice the, the landing's a little bit smaller this time. We don't have any sheep here to work with, right? It seems we were the only ones that have been invited. That means we also don't have access to any new techniques at this point in the game. We also don't have any access to items. So all that you can work with is what you find during the levels. So who is he? I never found out. Mutton's never said anything about him. Yeah, that's, that's actually true, which is pretty interesting. Hey, it's me again. You're something else. Well, sit down then. I love that phrase. You're something else. It has such like a... It, it has... It sounds very similar to the using the word interesting, right? It could be good. It could be bad. It could be somewhere in between. It could waver back and forth. It could be genuinely, passionately like, oh, that's so interesting. It could be like, that's interesting, right? It depends so much on how it's said and in what context. I've been waiting for you. I knew you'd make it here. This is heaven. Even higher than the cathedral. You bastard. You said I'd be free after I beat the cathedral. Son of a bitch. <laughs> that girlfriend just dumped me. I'll never accept this, Eric. <laughs> but you came here by your own choice. And now, 
I will ask you how prepared you are to pursue your freedom. This is the first question to freedom. So are you interesting, right? To risk your life to get back together with a former lover. <laughs> so it, it's interesting, right? The first question to freedom: Would you risk everything to Which get one? your lover back? If it's consensual, yes. If if the reason I'm not with my current lover is, I don't know, some god decided that the population needed to be restocked and I wasn't I mating know. quickly enough, <laughs> and that's what separated us, okay, I would do everything I could uh, to get my Which lover one? back. If my lover was like, you know, I don't think it's going to work out. We have different life goals and where we're headed with this our one? careers and, and what we see for our family in the future. It's just not fundamentally going to work. Damn, well, oh then... No then it would be respectful to, well, respect that and not obsessively risk everything to try to get uh, the lover back. So I think there's actually a lot more nuance to this question than than it seems. Um, although the, the context of this question is very obvious, right? Would you risk everything to get your lover back? In this case, it, the mysterious oh, no. voice is essentially testing Vincent's resolve. So of course, we would do everything we can. You're brave. But just because you can see her again doesn't mean things will go well for you. Be prepared, though. You're challenging him. All that hinting that the person who put me here was close to me, like it was a friend or a lover, when it was just the bartender. <laughs> just the bartender? I may not look it, but I am a god. Damn it. Where are you guys? Why don't you tell me who you are? All right. My name is Astaroth. I watch you humans from a world high above. Astaroth? A world above? What? You aren't satisfied with my introduction? That's too bad. We'll talk further on. If you're still alive. <laughs> well, wait. I find that so funny, but we finally learn, even though it's not incredibly useful, who this mysterious voice is, right? Astaroth. Which, whenever I think of Astaroth, I think of the character from Soul Calibur 2, which just does not match with this voice in the slightest, for those of you that are in the know. Alright, and yeah, majority say, of course, right? But I do think there's a lot more nuance to context of going, you know, risking everything for, for your lover. But anyways, we're on to the second sphere, right? Not the second floor, the second sphere, as they say. The second great trial is the Illusion Road. Monster blocks can move on their own and will fling you off if you hang on to them. Yeah, so those are those blocks with the tongue. Can I do it next time, too? Have to do it. Commencing area two. Are you ready? So, the clear temptation here is to grab that block, right? But then all of a sudden it's like, you know, I changed my mind, actually. And those things can wreak quite a bit of havoc with all of the movement they do. So, they are certainly a challenge. But we'll try- so, as a result, we're gonna try to avoid them whenever I can. However, at times they will be inevitable. So, we'll need to make do. I don't actually know what governs when they move, if they move, how they move, etc. We're gonna avoid that mystery block. Anything hiding behind there? No, it doesn't seem so. Alright, I got it. Okay. Alright, I got it. So then the next question is, of course, how in the world do we get up there? I think there's a, a bounce block here. Yeah. So we're already at the checkpoint. We're actually already about halfway through. You can see these things are moving a lot, which is not ideal. So, and again, it's n very important to note that we, oh my goodness, that could have been really bad, but we're gonna be okay because we can improvise. We can splat them by doing that. Uh, that was kind of problematic placement, so we're not gonna deal with that for now. And instead, we can push this over here, I think. Nice, oh, and look at that guy. He does not look like a friendly fellow. <laughs> he does not look very friendly at all. And we're gonna have to face off with him. See if we can bait him to come over here. Nice. And so now we have blocked him off. But there's also not a whole lot more we can do ourselves. So actually... 
Instead of pulling that one out, what I should have done is pull this one out. But obviously that also complicates things now. It's interesting, you can see that he also activated the, uh, the what's it called? The mystery block. I didn't even realize that they could do that, but we're going to have to use our 3x3 three three technique to get up here, I believe. So we'll work on that. We have the black hole blocks on the right side, and they are just destroying the path as we're trying to climb it. Not appreciated, man. Not appreciated. Especially if it breaks right now. So those guys are just moving around, having a grand old time. <laughs> Look at that. Just sliding all over the place. So we're going to have to make do with some of these mystery blocks. And I think for the time being that'll be okay. However, I'm going to have to push these guys over this way. That should stay in place. Because we don't have the number of blocks necessary on that right side. Oh, come on, go a little bit faster, Vincent. Okay. Just to keep the combo alive, that is. We'll pull this guy out here. Uh, we've got another enemy waiting for us up there. We've got a couple enemies, and we're getting pretty close, actually, you can hear, to the end. Which is pretty exciting. The danger, obviously, about taking this pathway over here is, well, we have to deal with the enemies. What I'm actually going to do is use this there. And uh, we're going to have to reset our combo in a second. And that's just because we can immediately get the item back by going up there and getting the Bible that way. Now, now what? <laughs> um, how do I want to do this? I mean, I think I actually could theoretically make just like a huge staircase. Like a huge staircase, and I don't think that's the, the best way of going about it, by any means, but it's certainly doable. Hmm, and maybe that's why it's not the best way of going about it. Huh. What is a good way of going about it, then? Those will fall, right? So maybe after that, I do something like this, and this will work a little bit better. Arguably not by a whole lot. I feel like I need that platform there so that I can work with this. Oh man, but we don't want to. We don't want to get rid of our base, right? I kind of want to just get rid of this altogether. So, goodbye. And I mean, we could make, again, another stairwell like this. But I don't... Oh man, really? <laughs> what poor timing. What, seriously? They just do not want to work with me. Um, so we can push this out and get that monster block to fall, I think. That way we can take it out. <laughs> we can take out this guy too. I think, actually, there might be... No, I can't do that without pulling one of these guys out. Oh, don't. I was going to say, don't hang on him. That would not be good. And... What do I want to do next? I think if I do this, we should be in the clear. Alright, and I think we got all the gold necessary as well. I made it! I think. <laughs> we'll find out eventually, right? When we see the score. Yeah, we didn't quite have the big safety bonus as we usually do, but that's all right. There were definitely some tough puzzles in there. Done, Vincent Brooks. You are quite a man. Oh, why, thank you, Astaroth. <laughs> you survived. For a guy running around in his boxers, you're pretty quick. But you've got a long way to go before you can face me be able to survive the next one <laughs> you bet we will also i love the changing aesthetic around the landing as we get closer and closer right it's like we've ascended through the top of the cathedral and now we're in the sky right as these things are just floating around we're in the clouds experiencing all of the weather up here so he's not working for mutton or something i guess i guess not 
here. Hurry up. All right then. Sit. <laughs> Still rushing him. <laughs> you made it through that most difficult of stages. Good for you. I praise the fight in you. Before we continue, I want to make sure of one thing. I want to know what is inside you. If it's the truth within you, then your future will be blessed. This is the second question to freedom. Do you wish for a peaceful life? <laughs> oh yeah. I, again, I will say, as all things, there is nuance to this, right? Does that Which peaceful one? life come at the expense of ignoring a chaotic life surrounding you? Right? Is it, the world sucks, so I'm gonna, you know, hide away in a corner and just let the rest of the world suck while I try to find my own peace? Or is it a, oh, no. I want a peaceful life and I want other people to also share in that peaceful life, right? Do I want to make the whole Which world one? a better place, a more peaceful place for everyone? Um, but ne nevertheless, I think the answer here is yes, I do Which wish for a peaceful life. I think Vincent is looking for a peaceful life. He's had a pretty chaotic life for the past week, so. I see. I understand. I will answer a question of yours, too. Exciting. You were covered in desire in temptation, which cast you down here. Lies, deceit, betrayal. Oh, it's terrible. This is a place where sinners are tried. Haven't you heard of it? This judgment will have a positive impact on the future of humanity. So, this is about the good of mankind? Wow, that's so beautiful, it, it makes me want to cry. But why is it just men? <laughs> this city is filled with traitors. I ordered him to bring the lowest of the low, like you, here. Hey, don't call me that. Even if, if it might be true. That means you're behind all this. Show me your face. You'll never see his face. Not in a thousand years. Besides, isn't knowing his name enough? That's enough talk. Let's move on. I wish you the best of luck. I don't need your wishes. I'm not gonna lose. How confident. But interesting, right? So now we have confirmation that Astaroth is really the mastermind behind this. It's not Mutton. It's not the boss. The boss is kind of enacting what Astaroth desires in this case. Wow, a lot of people saying yes. That's actually a lot more than I expected. But yeah, Astaroth is kind of the, the mastermind celestial being, whatever it is. And we don't know how many stages we have this night. The third great trial is the Forked Cliff. There is no one way to climb this wall. Trust your instincts. Man, I haven't done these walls in a while. Like a long time. This one will be tough. Locks. I'm gonna climb the shit out of you! <laughs> I love that opener so much. <laughs> Vincent, you crank me up. So, the, the Great Fork or whatever. And so we've got, we can basically take the random blocks on this side, um, or we can take the, the cracked blocks on this side and try to make the most out of those. And it looks like it's gonna be rather difficult. If I might say so myself. What am I gonna wanna do? I think I honestly might take the, the random blocks, which is pretty surprising for me. But I'm not immediately certain how to handle this portion, right? I think maybe if I were to make a stairwell like this, I'd be able to climb up quite a bit, but not, not enough, right? I guess now I could push these over, but that nah, wouldn't really help with these. Would it? Oof. Yeah, I'm tempted to uh, just retry and start with the blocks on the left. I'd almost rather have more blocks to work with, even if they are, well, we don't really know what types of blocks they're going to be. Because, look, I can very comfortably do my sort of three block wide technique here and make it to the top, I think. So, I'll take that more surefire strategy, even with uncertain blocks. So this might be a little bit problematic, because that block is going to go away, which means... which means what? How 
do I make this work? I think I... oh, that's not exactly what I intended to happen, but it's okay. We are gonna continue thinking hard. We're gonna borrow blocks from this fork so that we can create a little bit more of a stable footing up here and get back to our usual business. Given the nature of just the crumbling blocks, the mystery blocks, etc., uh, there's inherently a little bit more guesswork in this stage, it seems. Right. Gotta make sure I don't miss any gold, though. That would not be good. Got it. How am I gonna work with this? Um, it looks like I can maybe pull this out and then push this block to get some stuff to fall how I want it to. But even now, this isn't exceptionally helpful yet. Will that cause that to fall? No. That should make it fall, though. And maybe this will be a little bit easier to work with. Or maybe not. <laughs> I think... I think I should be able to do something similar to last time, though. Where now I'm able to create a bit more of a base to work with. Oh man, no, you're, you're going down. Yeah. Oh, wow. The, the, the bottom of the screen is coming up a lot more quickly than I had expected. That's not good. That's very not good. So, how can I get this block over here, right? Edge. Hmm. Edge. I don't see much to work Edge. with, honestly. This will fall Edge. that way. That way I'm making a little bit more of a platform to work with. But I'm not convinced it's exceptionally helpful. But Edge. wow, look at how close the bottom of the screen is. Edge. This? Probably should have kept the other block, here. honestly. Can't hmm. die here. I know you keep saying you can't die here, but it's looking more and more real with each passing moment, Vincent. <laughs> Cause I don't see a way out of this one. Yeah. Huh. Oh, we've got an enemy up there too. I mean, that block would be helpful to a certain extent, but maybe I have to do some work with climbing around the back of the wall? I think that actually might be something I need to keep in mind more. So we'll, we'll, we'll do that. See if we run into any problematic blocks this time. We've seen before that the same RNG isn't loaded each time, so even if we undo, there's a chance we get a different block. Which I guess can be abused to ensure that you get the type of block you want. As in, <laughs> I don't want a cracked block here, so we're gonna make sure we don't get one. Just like that. And I think we can do this. I don't want to get rid of... I know I got rid of part of the column last time, and that might have had some long-term negative effects. Do I want to... I think I'll push this, or pull this out like that. And I mean, we're able to climb here, but it might be easier to work with if I let these fall, for example. And then maybe push the blocks over so I can create a little bit more of a platform to work with. Although, that's not exceptionally helpful at the moment. But I can get up there with this. Okay, we're working. We're, we're doing something. For better or worse, I don't know. <laughs> this should not make anything unstable. Okay. We're gonna pull this all the way over here to block off that bad guy. Not looking to work with that. This right side might actually be easier to work with in this context, so let's go on over here for now, and we can push all this out of here, because I don't want to deal with that cracked block. And how do I want to get up there, though? I feel like... 
I feel like I need to push out this support and get those to fall that way. And I think if I do this, I may be able to. So I can get the gold that way, obviously. And now if I do this, I should be able to work with it a little bit more easily. And I guess we're taking a long time because <laughs> we, uh, there's a lot going on here. I'm going to lower this side of the wall just a couple blocks. Maybe that'll make it easier to work with. I'm going to keep lowering a little bit more. Oh, that almost got me, which would not have been good. We can do that. And now we'll be able to... Oh, I forgot about the combo. I was just focusing on the puzzle. These ones are actually... This is pretty t pretty difficult. I can spider over here, but I'm still not high enough to really get where I need to go. I can do this, but I don't think that helps me all that much. Because I don't have the space to work with. Maybe that'll help. So that definitely helps. We're not going to get that checkpoint, unfortunately. But for the time being, we'll... Well, I guess we'll progress in this sense. Um, we're going to want this to fall. Got a whole lot of edge there. <laughs> How am I going to do this part? I think I can pull this out. Yeah, like that. Is there gold over there? Please don't tell me that's gold. I don't think there's gold. I hope there's not gold. <laughs> Got a bomb block. No, that's totally gold there, isn't it? Oh, how are we going to get that? Can I bridge? I can. All right, we bridging, boys. Well, do I really want to drop down there, though? <laughs> do I really want to drop down there? That's a pretty big, pretty big risk. We're doing it. We're getting the gold. We're going for gold, guys. All right, I got it. It should be functionally pretty similar to what we did on the other side, actually. So I think we may be okay if I do hmm, something like this, where I... No, wrong block. Stop. No! Oh, man. Oof, that hurts, guys. That hurts, because I I do not feel confident in my ability to to replicate the exact same motions I was doing last time. Oh, man. So we'll start off the same way, but after a certain point, this level just became so much of, like, really having to improvise and adapt and think on the fly and... I know it's not going to be the same this time around, so we're still going to have to deal with a lot of those challenges. Albeit, they're good challenges. I appreciate that the puzzles are definitely challenging. Okay. I got to work with this one. I think we'll want to lower these blocks. I think that's what we did last time. We can lower this block again, actually. That'll work out nicely. I think I can do some bridging here, if I really want to. Do I want to? Uh, yeah, let's do some bridging. <laughs> Might be easier to work with that way. Brandon, we'll have to deal with this guy. Come on. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to pull this over here to block him off. And then we can push that out of the way to get access to this block. I don't think we actually need it, though. I think we can uh, just do this and we'll be all right. I was wrong. <laughs> so now that block should fall, and that's looking a little bit better. That is going to make that block fall, isn't it? It is. So we're going to have to rethink how we do this part. Oh, I remember this part was this part was tough last time, that's for sure. So if I do this, that block should fall again. And that way we'll actually have a little bit more of a platform to work with. Oh, there goes the combo. And we can climb up this way. I should just use this to get rid of this guy. 
because I don't see myself finding many more opportunities to use it in the future. We can create a nice little stairwell. And now we're on the left side, which is different from before, but I think it'll work. I hope it'll work, rather. I see a pretty easy way to bridge across once we get to the checkpoint, so we shouldn't have any problems getting that gold at least, which is nice. Alright, because all I'm going to need to do is just bring one of these across, and I'll be okay. So we have this, we have the checkpoint, and it's probably better that I'm on this side this time around, so I'm not going to have to worry about coming back. And I actually, doing that there made it so that a huge chunk of the level disappeared. So I'm not sure I really want to do that in that manner. Um, so I'm actually going to push this over there for now, and then have it all descend at the same time. Although clearly that <laughs> wasn't the, uh, the same time I had expected. What am I going to want to do here? I guess I could go across, pull this out, and if I pull this out, I don't really lose too many useful blocks there. I can push that like that, and then make a platform there. Is there a way for me to get up there, though? I could lower it all, more or less, like that. Hmm. No, I think what I'll do instead is actually this. And I'm totally messing up the, the blocks that are coming after. So hopefully this doesn't just mess up everything. But right now it's the path I see, so it's the path we're going to work with, I guess. Got a bomb block. Hate dealing with those. Right now, we're doing okay-ish. How are we going to get up there, though? I don't really have a lot of space to work with underneath me. There's a bomb block. We're going to have to do something with the bomb block. We could push that out of the way. And that'll cause all of that to drop, I believe. That was arguably too much drop, though. <laughs> that was arguably a lot... Way too much drop. Um, if I push this that way and then have this fall that way, everything should come down one block. And that might make our lives easier. Might not, but it might. So we're gonna give it a go. Uh, okay, if I pull this block, I can probably actually utilize this block that I've been kind of saving over here, and then we should have a little bit of a stairwell to work with. Gonna make sure we don't die there. And yeah, we're able to make somewhat of a stairwell, which is nice. Whew. And we're like only just over halfway across, or halfway up the, the climb, which is pretty crazy to think about admittedly. We're just going to get rid of that block for now. I'm going to activate that so I don't die. Activate that so I don't die. And we'll keep making a stairwell. Activate that so I don't die. This should stay if I do that. Can I make a meaningful bridge here? No, not yet, because I don't have a way of making that stay. What I can do, though, is uh, pull this block out here. I wanted to make sure that wasn't a live trap yet. Oh, that block's still going to fall, though, isn't it? Yeah. Do I have a way of getting up there now, though? Mm. Yeah, I don't really like that sequence of events, then. What I'll do instead is... I can... I can help... Oh, we're getting into ice blocks now, too? What I can do is probably pull this out, like, here. And then I can pull this. And we have a stairwell up. Which is progress. <laughs> which is progress that I will happily take. However, I think what I'm actually going to do instead now is not worry about these guys on our right and instead go for the gold over here. Oh, what? There's gold over there too? All right, all right. We got we got some thinking to do. So, I can I can I can push this over that way to open up that door, I guess. And then I can do this. Oh, we actually took that guy out. All right, not going to complain about that. That's for sure. I can pull this out. I want to get that block to fall. So what I'm going to do is do that, and then I can kind of climb up like that. 
good. We've reactivated our combo. So now we can come up here and go up like this. We've gotten the gold on the left side and the right side. That block is going to crumble, which may not go very well. I think I can push that all the way over there, though. And we'll have a pretty safe way up. So we're doing... We're doing okay. I'm gonna push that out of the way because I don't want to deal with it right now. And I think if I do this part well, hmm. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give myself a little bit more of a platform to work with by pulling this out because I have the leeway to make a stairwell here. And then I can spider over here and that's gonna make getting this gold a lot easier. Okay, we're getting there. Again, we're gonna get rid of the black hole because I'm not a fan of the black holes. <laughs> and keep a look out of the corner of my eye to make sure we're not missing out on any. Um, darn, I don't want those guys to be following after me. So we're gonna do that and kind of cut them off. We're getting close. We're getting very close, guys. Thing is, I'm gonna want to push that actually because I don't want to rely on that cracked block in order to get up. So what do I do here? Oh, we're so close, guys. Oh, both of them are fine. That's good to know. What do I do here? Is there anything under me? No, there isn't. So that could be a little bit problematic. I think what I'm going to want to do, actually, is bridge here. Is bridge across, because I can pull these two blocks like this and give myself more area to work with. We're not going to die on that. We're not going to die on this. <laughs> Gotta be really intentional about it. Oh, what? Combo. Combo, come back. What? What happened to the combo, guys? You guys seeing this? Hello? Why is my, like, undo button broken right now? Seriously? We're literally at the end. Like, all I have to do now is bring this block over and we can bridge, and then we can bridge back across. Like, I'm at the end. Why is my combo not resetting? And I thought we could only do, like, a max of nine undos or something like that. Is the game glitching by some means right now? Oh, if that's the case, I'm going to be so upset. Because I'm going to get that perfect combo. Wow. Wow. But I don't know if you guys can see what I meant by how we can finish this, right? So what, all we would have to do actually is just bridge like this, and then we're done. So... That would have been the end. I'm gonna get that perfect combo though. So unfortunately we're gonna restart the whole thing. I may work some editing magic so you guys don't have to watch through all of this again. <laughs> That's incredibly upsetting. I know that we're like low-key abusing the undo mechanic, but when it stops working right at the end, maybe there's some mechanic I'm unaware of and if you guys are aware, please let me know. But, wow, that's, that's pretty demoralizing. Because <laughs> I felt like I really earned getting to that one. Okay, well, whatever. Not much we can do about it now, right? So, we'll push that out of the way to get these guys over. And then we can push this across. We can push that across again to bring those down. Do I want to go on the left or the right? I'm going to want to go on the right, it seems. Oh, that's a cracked block. So we're going to want to do this for now. Coming? Come on. Okay. Now we're going to push this out and block him off. Okay. We can push that out. That's okay. Push that out. Don't want to deal with the cracked blocks again. We can let you... Actually, I don't know if I want to do that yet. We can come up like this. And we're doing all right. I'll commentate, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna edit, edit this out or not. Just kind of a funny place to be, but it's not the end of the world. 
got a bit of a platform to work with now, which is lovely. You can do this and then push across. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss any of the gold like I did before. What do I do here? I think I might go across bridge like this. And what I can do is Let's see if I can run and make it in time. I can. Nice. However, actually no. I was going to say that makes it a little bit more difficult to get to the left side, but we're still able to bridge over all the same. So that is fine by me. So last time I learned that if I push this all the way over like that, it makes life a little bit easier for me. So what I'm going to do is that for now. We can push that over and... What else did I do? I don't remember exactly what I did, but whatever I'm doing now seems to be going all right. So that's fine by me. I can pull this out like that to give myself more of a platform, and then I can pull this guy out. Nope, don't want to do that. I can pull this guy out and push him off to the side so I can still climb back up to where I was, but now I've got a little bit more space to work with, which is nice. I'm gonna want to avoid that bomb block as is usual. I can spider over to this mystery block, which is nice. I'm gonna activate that mystery block so we don't get caught by surprise. Any gold on the right I'm missing? Doesn't seem so. Mystery block. At the very least, there are no mystery bomb blocks. I think that would actually be the absolute worst. <laughs> If there were mystery bomb blocks, we're gonna get rid of that block because I don't want to deal with that. We can bring this guy over to have a little bit more leeway, I think. We're gonna activate you so we don't die to that. We're gonna activate you so we don't die to that. And what else? What else do I want to do here? Maybe I don't want to deal with that much at all. <laughs> and in fact, maybe I want to go this way. And I think I can make this stairwell here if I push this out of the way. No, come back. Now I'm concerned every time the combo goes away, I'm like, wait, is it gonna come back? That was a very strange situation and I was very concerned that Vincent was gonna die in that moment. But alas, he did not. And we, we live to fight another day, I guess. Mystery block, don't kill me. Okay, good, happy about that. Can I... I think I can bridge across, although clearly just complicated getting that gold. Continue to block that guy off. We can come down this way. I think that's the safest way to get this gold. It might actually be easier, actually. Um, wait, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to happen. <laughs> So we can do this. We can come over here and pull this block out, and that might make our lives a little bit easier. That block is still going to drop, but this block nobly <laughs> came out here uh, with us. I want to get that ice, though. Or that gold that's on top of the ice. How can I make that work, though? I've got an idea, actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. We can pull this block out. And then we can pull this block out as well. And if we just take one of these guys out, we'll bring that down, and we should be okay. Do I have space to, to make another staircase step? I do. So we'll do that for now. Although the blocks on this left side are looking rather... scarce. So I am a little bit concerned in that regard. Obviously we're missing out on quite a bit there. Um, we can lower this one more time, and I think we should be able to get our, make our way up, which is nice. I would appreciate it if we had some more blocks to work with. Now what? I can pull this out, and I should be able to make a stairwell up if I, as long as I get rid of these guys. So I'm going to push all these guys over. That's going to eat up a bunch of the panels over there. And I just realized there's gold over there we need to get. So I'm going to come over here like this. And I don't think there's gold up here. No, there isn't. So we can just confidently transition. I'm lucky that I got the same type of block there as last time. And so we can just hang out on this right side here. We're still working our way up. We're going to get rid of that. And we can, again, get rid of the cracked panels. 
all of those guys will fall. Don't move, please. Thank you. I'm going to get rid of both those guys because I just don't even want to deal with it right now. <laughs> don't want to worry about it. Uh, however, what in the world am I going to do here? Because I don't have space to work with much more. I could get one of these guys to fall. I could get a couple of them to fall, actually. Well, that didn't work out as intended. <laughs> I could get a lot of these blocks to fall and bring the goal closer to us, though. So, maybe that's, maybe that's the way to go, guys. Is to just have everything fall into our hands. However, that will adversely affect our combo. Which is not ideal. <gasps> what?! I didn't hit down, I hit left! Are you kidding me? May you rest in peace, Owen. Seriously? What? I really wish there was like like a short-term undo so that like when you die you can just go back to what you were doing before you die because now I have to go through the whole thing again oh my god and I feel like we, like we've had this puzzle solved we've had it solved <sighs> not the time to be dead. It, guys, this should be it. That last bit was stressful, guys. <laughs> that last bit was stressful, but that's one of those puzzles that every time you try it, it's so rare to get the same setup you got the last time. So you really have to improvise, and it's a good puzzle. I actually like it quite a bit, but oh man, is it demoralizing to get all the way to the end. And for some unknown reason, have it not work out. But we made it. We made it. It was a good challenge. A welcome challenge. You still haven't died? You really have quite the luck. But Lady Luck can't help you now. It's the real goodbye next time. Now prepare to die. Interesting, right? So he's blaming all... He's attributing all of our success to luck. We know it's much better than that. Right, right. 
And he's saying that next up is the one where we should prepare to die. I don't know if that actually means we're gonna be fighting him himself yet, or if it's, I don't know, a final challenge before actually getting to Mr. Mutton himself. But all that said, of course, this has been a long episode as it is, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, we had a nice peaceful night at the Stray Sheep, a positive night at the Stray Sheep, where many of the patrons were solving their problems. And then we came back to this nightmare realm, the lone sheep tackling Thomas Mutton's challenge, and who we now know is, I guess, carrying out this challenge at the command of Astaroth, this mysterious voice, and yeah, the puzzles have been intense, they've been good, and I can imagine they're only going to get better, and we're that much closer to the ending and seeing just how Vincent's story resolves. So, I hope you guys are looking forward to it just as much as I am, but until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.